today's task is getting rid of all of these cardboard boxes we have lying around. shopping with my parents for more house stuff and we got quite a bit I won't go through all of it with you because I don't know it might be a bit boring but we kind of just got the basic sort of things like a kettle which we needed a toaster like dish strainer mixing bowls ugh, loads and loads of stuff basically mostly from um, Asda and the most stupidest potato peeler I could find <laughs> So yeah, we're still getting that bit much closer now to moving in. We're actually planning to move in next weekend. The only like really essential bit we need now is a wardrobe. We're actually getting two wardrobe wardrobes. So we're going back to Ikea next weekend to get those. But yeah, I'm just going to sort through all of the stuff we got shopping today, put it in its place and yeah, just having a bit of a tidy up really. Ikea. So here we are in Ikea on the weekend and it's more hellish than usual. We said we were just going to come in and get some wardrobes and get out but no. Look we've got a blooming trolley again. Here is not much of a nightmare to begin with. We had even more of a nightmare today. Thing is, we got our wardrobes, everything fine, and I thought we were literally going in there, gone out, and that was it. Like, perfect, we got everything sorted, but no. We only went in one car, and the wardrobes weren't going to fit in my car without having, like, no seats free for David to get home. So I decided that we should just get it delivered. So we had to go back into the home delivery bit, which I thought was going to be really embarrassing, but actually, they were just like, yeah, sure, deliver it tomorrow. But unfortunately, because we've got two wardrobes, um, David's hurt his back because he was pushing it on the trolley and then it got jammed in like a bit in the door and oh, I feel really sorry for him. And then on the way back driving, we had Storm Brian to contend with. That's why my hair's an absolute mess. Like even though it's really sunny now, like the weather coming back, it was like the end of the world. So anyway, our wardrobes are gonna be delivered tomorrow. Um, we won't be building them today. The only thing I think I will be building today is this laundry basket, which we got. Evening everyone, today is Sunday evening and we had our wardrobes delivered earlier from the Ikea men. They were a bit annoyed that we asked them to put the stuff upstairs. But anyway, um, we need to build them now because we were busy earlier this morning so Let's do it. It's so massive, it's so stressful, I want to die.
We've just finished half of the wardrobe. It's quarter to 11. We're gonna leave it there. We're almost done. I need to go to sleep because I've got work tomorrow. So when I was at work today, David finished the wardrobe. Let's come back a little bit. You can see it properly. So that's one of our wardrobes. Obviously David will be having one as well, but yeah. At least we can start storing all of our clothes in there and it won't look like such a laundry room in here. So I've kind of fallen behind with this house vlog. I ended up going to Paris and yeah, I just, I feel like me and David have just been busy ever since. So a bit of an update, um, those clips you've just seen were from a few weeks ago now. David's back is fine, I don't want to worry anyone. Oh, and our wardrobes, both our wardrobes are up, which I'll show you now. Here we are then, oh, there's David's slippers. Here are both of our wardrobes. David hasn't actually closed his, so let me just do that now. Um, but yeah, whilst I was in Paris, David actually finished both of these off. And I'm super, super happy with them. I think they look great in our room and they actually make our room look quite spacious. Oh, here are the other IKEA bed sheets we got, by the way. So finishing off this vlog post, what's next with the house? I really want to get sorted out the curtains for downstairs in the living room and some blinds for the kitchen. So I think those are our next steps. So if you guys have got any suggestions on where to go for both of those things, just leave some suggestions below or recommendations in the comment section. That would actually really help me. But I do have to wait for payday because this uh, month has been quite a tight month for Paris and me and David are going to Belgium this week as well but yeah I'll try and keep it strictly to house vlog stuff in these house vlogs so yeah if you've got any questions about owning your own house or you've got any more recommendations on what we could do with the house which you've done to your house recently just leave some comments below I do read them all and yeah I hope you're still liking these videos if you do please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I will be kind of sporadically sending out these house updates as and when they happen. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!